Goblin Stone takes a narrative twist with you controlling a colony of goblins just trying to survive in a world dominated by humans. And while the game does many things right, there's just some things missing that stop it from being a very great game. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mavi and today I'm going to be giving you my review of Goblin Stone. This game released on March 12th, 2024. I played it on Steam. And it is a base building, turn-based combat, roguelites. I guess the best similar game in this genre I can compare it to is probably Darkest Dungeon. And I mean the first one. So the story is, you play as a group of goblins who wander upon the Goblin Stone. With this ancient artifact, you are slowly building up your colony and take back part of the world away from lots of monsters and humans alike. So, the gameplay, what's it all about? Well. The core of the game here is all about going on different runs in increasing difficulty as you progress in dungeons to gather all sorts of treasures and then using those treasures to expand your base, recruit goblins, and upgrade them accordingly. So the basic loop here will go along the lines of this. Manage your base, go on dungeon runs, upgrade the base, then go on harder runs, and so on. It is kind of simple. Let's talk about managing the base first. You're going to be using money and materials that you find on dungeons and quests, rewards to make different rooms. You got storage, uh, different classes, a breeding room, a recruiting room, and even a retirement room. Then you're going to be going on dungeon runs. You're going to plan out your group of goblins. You can carry six with you as you go. Various different classes like tanks, raiders, hunters, and you're going to give them equipment weapons and uh, different yeah just different type of weapons that you can modify and then you're going to be going on roguelike dungeons these have various biomes enemies events and branching paths you have fights harvest sections treasures shops smithies shrines and then bosses to round most of them out so the combat is as mentioned six goblins so depending on the different classes and traits and equipment they have they're going to be moving at different speeds at the top there you see a speed bar and then everything just slowly cools down and then as soon as they're ready to go they you know they get to do actions either you or the enemies you have health your armors and you always have your weapon to attack but then you get two random skills depending on your class and these are equal wait times so Stronger abilities equal longer wait times, and whoever's in the front is usually going to get attacked first. So after that, you're going to be upgrading your base using the money and resources to get more rooms, or you can upgrade the regular rooms in order to upgrade your goblins and make, you know, different sorts of events on the runs a little bit better. Either shops here to get new loots and more resources. You can also breed your different, you can breed goblins to get different traits. So if you like, you know, tank your goblins or more with crit, you can kind of try to craft them and make them. You can also change your classes there and just get random goblins because they all have new traits. So you have to keep looking for them. And then after that, you can reach higher goblins, either goblins that have been on lots of runs or ones that you just don't feel like using anymore. Maybe they lost percent, like maybe they died and they lost 50% max HP. So you retire them and then you use those retired goblins resources to further along your base. Then after that, you just keep going and go on harder runs. Try your hardest to keep progressing. And if you fail, you still get rewarded somewhat with those goblins resources turning into more sort of currency to upgrade your room. So that's the game in a nutshell. Let's talk about the pros and minuses, the pros and cons, pluses, minuses, blah, blah, blah. Here's what I liked. All right, so I do like the fun narrative point of view. Basically, when you start the game and you're in the tutorial, you start off playing the heroes and then you take control of the goblins. And as the art style goes, you see the humans. They're like gross and nasty monsters and the goblins are, you know, relatively cute, right? They have a good voice narration here and really nice storybook-esque graphics. I thought that was neat. I like the idea of the overall gameplay loop. It did remind it really did remind me of Darkest Dungeon, base building, various runs, lots of upgrades, a ton of potential, right? And then finally the combat. It's nice and easy to understand. You know, you don't have there are some strategy here, but for the most part, you 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 set your goblins in a certain order and you watch them go and then you just choose some of the um, some of the actions in front of you. Moving on to the minuses, what did I dislike? All right, so basically, I think, in my opinion, the game is just missing 
a little bit of everything in a lot of categories. Basically, it's a good foundation, but I felt like it just needed more. And I'll give you some examples, right? So the enemies here, the variety is not great. There's only a small amount. And then later on, once you get to harder sections, they're just reskins. Um, the equipment that you get in the game, and these are the biggest ways, the biggest ways to upgrade your goblins because they don't level up like, you know, humans or anything like that. They get stronger basically from traits and equipments. And once again, there's just not a lot of them. Very basic. You're going to see the same two to three types of archetypes. Nothing fancy or exciting here. And even down to the goblin variety, there's an okay amount of classes. But there's not much customization outside of breeding and finding your fun traits. It's just like when you have a certain class, you're going to be changing out a couple of cards, which are the random ones that pop up during combat. And yeah, it's nice, but then they made it weird where every single goblin of that class will have the same loadout. So every goblin is supposed to be different, right? Like maybe one's more tankier, one has more magic. But then the different sorts of class cards that you use might not go perfectly optimized with that particular goblin, even though they both share the same class. So you can't individualize each load out there, which kind of sucks. Um, also, I think it overall it's just mi missing that tension. This might be just by design. You know, it just makes sense. But the goblins are extremely disposable. And that's not a bad thing. But coming from amazing games like Darkest Dungeon, there's no you know, crazy legendary loot that you can find, equipments or goblin traits that you can care, that you just don't care if they die. They just lose half max HP and then they perma dive to get KO'd again or just retire them. Grinding is not fun here. Um, I usually don't mind it, but when it's kind of monotonous and autopiloty, it is not good. And I, I, you know, I gotta bring up Darkest Dungeon again. You need money and resources, but there's always the threat of losing someone importance and maybe maybe even the campaign run completely here in goblin stone i felt like you just don't care half the time upgrades that you find even on runs go away which suck the only thing taken in can be used so like orb equips and upgrades um so yeah my overall thoughts is well as you know i like the art style the narration the overall idea um uh, i felt like they just cast a gigantic wide net on the gameplay and a lot of stuff a lot of things did stick but the more you play it the more you see how shallow this pool gets i think it just needed a little bit more time to cook it's not an early access and i'm not sure of any of their future plans but you know honestly it just needed that little extra push of just more variety more dopamine of finding good loot and special goblins to keep you really engaged to try to not lose your favorites you know not it's okay if they die resources to build my base type of thing i guess that is kind of the goblin horde mentality so maybe it makes sense there but yeah that's just what i think so if you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and let me know down below if you are interested in goblin stone maybe you have different opinions than me and that's completely fine let everyone down below know um, exactly what you liked or what you didn't like because that's what makes reviews special everyone has different opinions so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye